I'm going to be featuring 20 amazing designer fragrances that cost no more than 20 bucks. This video is specifically for those of you guys on a budget, maybe cash is tight, money is tight, or you don't like to spend a whole lot of money on perfume. So this video was designed specifically for you. Another thing I decided to do was challenge myself a bit. I decided to add not one celebrity fragrance to this list. A lot of times when we watch these kind of videos, on YouTube half the fragrances are celebrity perfumes and while I love me a good celebrity perfume I wanted to keep this strictly designer strictly amazing fragrances so I don't want to ramble on too much because we do have 20 fragrances that we do have to talk about so if you want to see these fragrances just keep watching first fragrance that we have on this list is from the house of Vera Wang. It's a beautiful scent. It's called Princess Flower and this is actually a flanker to the original Princess fragrance. This doesn't really have anything in common with that scent. This is more of a fresh, clean, shampoo, soapy type of scent. I don't want to say it's soapy because I don't really get soap from this but it does smell very out of the shower. You do get that vibe from it. It is very transparent, so it does have a clean, clear type of scent, very watery. The main notes in this one are water lily, we have jasmine, and we have a beautiful tangerine note that kind of sets it apart from other fruity floral fragrances. It does wear very close to the skin. It does wear lightly. Feel free to go ahead and use a heavy hand when you're spraying this fragrance out because the sillage is very light. I remember wearing this one after six hours. I did go in and refresh, and I was fine for the rest of the day. But that was just my experience wearing this fragrance. Definitely worth checking out. So this is Princess Flower, and it's by Vera well, coming up next on this list is Live in Love New York and this is a flanker to the original Live in Love fragrance. It's a sparkling green scent with a touch of I would say classiness. It's very it's a very classic type of scent. This is completely different from that scent. This is more of a young scent. It's not juvenile at all, but it does smell like something that the younger crowd would be attracted to. It's a fruity floral gourmand scent. You do get a touch of sweet berries. You get some sort of clean floral. And then in the base, it feels a little bit more gourmand. I'm not sure if we have praline in the base or if we have uh, amber, but it does get sweet in the base. And I do enjoy it. The lasting power on this one is actually decent. It does go light after, I would say, four or five hours, which a lot of fragrance does that. This one is called Live in Love New York, and I really do enjoy this scent a lot. The other day, someone recommended that I try the Live in Love Paris. So I do have a, both of them. This one is called Live in Love Paris. At first, I didn't know what to think about this fragrance because I kind of felt like it smelled a little bit generic. But the more I wore this one, the more I was like, hmm. So if I could put notes to this fragrance, I would say this is peony, possibly cherry blossom. This is actually a fragrance I would wear casually. Something I would just wear to the office when I'm not trying to be extra, when I'm just trying to be low key. It does wear lightly, but I think there are some beautiful notes in here. It's worth giving a chance, especially at the price point that it is. Definitely worth given a shot. Coming up next on this list is a fragrance that's becoming very popular. Everybody loves this fragrance. It is a crowd pleaser. It's a fragrance that appeals to a lot of people and I just don't blame them. It's Burberry Brit Share. This is a very beautiful scent, especially if you're into a very clean, fresh, soapy, shampoo-esque type of fragrance. It smells so beautiful. It's a very simple, casual type of fragrance, but it does smell unique at the same time. It's very distinct. When you smell it, you know this is what you're smelling. The dominant notes in this one are yuzu, bergamot, and peony. It's a very beautiful, girly fragrance, but at the same time, we have like those beautiful woods, and when it dries down, it becomes a little bit more musky. If you're looking for a fragrance that is very feminine and clean and fresh, something that will garner compliments, definitely look into this one. It's also the kind of fragrance I would recommend to someone who's just now starting into fragrances and you're not yet 
exposed to a lot of fragrances and you want something just simple but nice and special smelling at the same time i would recommend burberry brit share it's a beautiful fragrance and i just love this one i'm so happy to have this one in my collection it's amazing and at the price point you can't lose so coming up next is this fragrance right here this is jimmy Choo, the auto toilette ever since i've got this one i've been so fascinated with it because this is so unique there's nothing else that I have in my collection that smells just like this. This is a very clean, fresh, sparkling scent. This is all about pear and we have a beautiful ginger note. I love a gorgeous ginger note and in here it is just so amazing. We do have some light, beautiful florals going through this as well. But I would say the dominant theme from this one is definitely the ginger the pear and I get heavy musk. If you like musk, definitely check this out. I don't think there's any musk listed in this fragrance, but you cannot deny that there's like a lot of musk in this one. This fragrance is actually a top performer. I really think this is just a beautiful special scent. This is actually my favorite fragrance from the house of Jimmy Choo. I absolutely love this one. Coming up next on this list is Burberry London. The dominant note in this fragrance is Jasmine and it's a very heavy Jasmine. It does come off sometimes Sometimes like jasmine tea and we do have like a good amount of woods in the scent paired with mandarin it feels a little I would say dense it does have a dense feel to it but at the same time this is very clean and very soapy in my opinion it does have a classic feel to it it doesn't smell like something that's coming out of perfumery these days it's very feminine and it's very womanly so it does have a more like mature vibe Ah, uh, it smells so good. It smells so good and the way it lingers is just beautiful. I absolutely love this fragrance. So coming up next is a fragrance that I featured in another video of mine. By the way, that video is doing crazy on YouTube. I think I have like 60,000 views like in two months. Like, are y'all serious? Like, I did that video on a random Sunday, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just so grateful. But anyway, I did feature this uh, fragrance and a lot of you gave me feedback on this fragrance. A lot of you said that you like it. Some of you guys said that you didn't like it. Some of you guys said, well, I like it, but it didn't last. And some of you guys said, well, my man can keep his hands off of me. So I got a lot of feedback in regards to this fragrance. I do appreciate it when you guys come back and give me feedback on the fragrances that I recommend on my channel, whether it be good or bad feedback. I do appreciate any sort of feedback, okay? Every single time I smell this, I'm just like, amazed that this is not like some sort of a niche fragrance it's been a while since i've worn this one so let me just spray this to remind myself what i have here mm. first of all it's so unique i don't have anything else in my collection that smells like this it smells so good so what i get here is a watery spicy woody scent it's spicy it's woodsy it's watery it does have a very minimalistic vibe. It does smell like something that kind of pulls both ways. Maybe guys could wear it, females could wear it, and maybe that's the reason why a lot of you guys came back and told me that your man found it like really beautiful. He found it sexy. I did get a lot of feedback uh, with you guys telling me that your guy likes to smell it on you. So, you know, congrats to you on that. In regards to performance, this fragrance, I think it's very tricky. First time I wore this one, I was like, crap, it doesn't last. It smells really amazing, but it doesn't last. And then the next time I wore it, it lasted on me the whole day. And I know a lot of you guys say the same thing. One day it does and one day it doesn't. I guess you just have to see how this works. And just be strategic when you're spraying this one, like in your warm areas, you know, your neck. The crook of your elbows and behind your neck you know where your hair is and all that good stuff so you know you guys know what works for you this is a beautiful scent definitely worth checking out this is called guest 1981 indigo coming up next is another fragrance from the house of guest guest is definitely on a roll so this is called guest seductive noir and this is also another fragrance that a lot of you guys purchased because of the recommendation that i made in that video i'm gonna link that video or i'm gonna leave it in my description box for those of you guys who may be new to the channel and have no idea what video I'm talking about. So I like to describe this one as a quintessential, modern, strong, feminine woman type of perfume. It's very sexy, very seductive in a modern way. I don't really find this sexy even though I know that's what they're trying to portray here. But my idea of sexy is usually clean and fresh but I do get the whole idea of this being seductive to a lot of women. What I get from this one, I get some sort of a clean floral spicy scent. 
and when it dries down we get the beautiful base notes vanilla the vetiver and the velvet so that's basically what you get from this here it's not gonna be for everyone you have to be into that spicy floral I mean vanillic kind of scent something that is a little bit dark mysterious so if that's not your vibe definitely this is not for you but if that's you right there definitely try this one out at this price point I mean it's definitely worth it so coming up next is this fragrance right here it's from the house of Ed Hardy and it is called Kale's Love Slowly I think that's the name of it I still think that this is the best fruity fragrance that I have in my collection it is just so like good it's very sweet it's tropical oh my god it smells so good what I get here is like a bunch of tropical fruits I would say like mango I'm getting a bit of strawberries here possibly raspberries there's a lot of different fruits here very sweet sugary but it does have a clean aspect to it so we do have some clean florals in here what i really love about this scent is that there is this constant pull between being juvenile and grown up it's like the fragrance doesn't know what it wants to be because you have these beautiful tropical fruits but when it starts to dry down you get like a spicy woodsy type of scent it's very unique and very complex in that way and that's the exact reason why i have this in my collection definitely worth trying out and i love this one so coming up next on this list is a fragrance from the house of elizabeth arden and this fragrance is called pretty if you've never smelled this fragrance i can guarantee you like the first time you smell this fragrance that's exactly what you would say it's pretty it's a pretty fragrance it is like a simple clean floral scent it does have its own little charm it has orange blossom peony jasmine lilies so it's there's a bunch of florals in here very clean it's not spectacular like but it's a pretty fragrance the kind of fragrance that you will wear and someone would definitely say wow you smell pretty you smell nice feminine it's that kind of scent if you have this fragrance let me know and let me know how you will go about describing this fragrance coming up next is this fragrance right here it's called ck into you and of course this is for women so this is actually a new kind of new discovery for me it's a beautiful fragrance of course it's citrusy it has a beautiful grapefruit note in the top and we do have bergamot it does have cactus in the heart and that gives off a little bit of a green scent in the base. We have a very heavy dose of cedar wood. So if you don't like cedar, you're probably not gonna like this one. And it does have a nice hint of vanilla, which gives it like a slightly warm scent once the fragrance dries down. It lingers nicely. Like it's a kind of fragrance, like it doesn't have like a big sillage unless you do over spray, but it does linger nicely. It does cling to your skin nicely and your clothes nicely. So I think it's a beautiful summer scent, something that is very refreshing. Everyone should have a fragrance like this. In their collection coming up next on this list is this fragrance right here it's from the house of a rehab and this is called choco musk I decided to add this fragrance to this list because it smells really good price point and I wanted to add some variety to this list just to ensure that there's something here for everyone if you're looking for a genuine vanilla scent this is definitely the one for you it has a very airy, genuine vanilla scent, so it does have a gourmand scent. We have many notes going through this one. We have milk chocolate, of course we have vanilla, amber, rose, myrrh. So there's some other notes in here other than vanilla, but if I'm being completely honest, the only thing that I get is a smoky vanilla that somewhat reminds me of Vanilla Lace from Victoria's Secret, so it does have that very realistic genuine vanilla scent this is a vanilla lover's dream it smells amazing next on this list is this fragrance right here it's called modern and it's from the house of banana republic this fragrance is super inexpensive i think i saw this one on fragrance snap for like 12 dollars it's citrusy and it's floral very sparkling we have notes of green apple we have bergamot and we have a beautiful sacrament note so it's a very sparkling citrusy floral scent uh, it smells so good it's not like super feminine it's a kind of fragrance that i think could pull both ways depending on how you want to look at it but 
I feel as though if I swear this on a guy or a female, it just would make a difference to me. It kind of seems a little bit gender neutral, if you ask me. It does give that kind of vibe. And I think a lot of the fragrances that come out of the house of Banana, Banana Republic does give that vibe. So it's a really nice scent. Coming up next is this fragrance right here. It's called Wishes and Dreams, and it's from the house of BB. I don't know if it's going to be for everyone, but I know that I definitely like it. What I basically get from this fragrance is a sparkling pear note paired with freesia and a very heavy dose of patchouli the patchouli here is the way i like patchouli to be done very clean and fresh if there was ever a clean and fresh patchouli note it's definitely in here of course it's a little bit earthy but it's definitely clean very fresh and i like the way the patchouli is done here very fresh crisp very pleasant scent that is surprisingly long lasting. Wears more like an evening wear type of fragrance. It doesn't smell casual to me. I mean, if you look at the bottle, it gives you some indication of what the fragrance is all about. So that's kind of like the vibe that I get. So it's definitely worth checking out if this is the kind of fragrance that you're typically drawn to. Coming up next is this fragrance right here. It's called Something Blue and it's from the house of Oscar de la Renta. If you are not into florals, you will not like this fragrance because it is a very punchy, very lush floral scent. It's also a bit on the watery side, a little bit green. The dominant note in this one is Linden Blossom. I think this is the first fragrance that really introduced me to the note of Linden Blossom. I've seen it in other fragrances such as Fifth Avenue by Elizabeth Arden, but it wasn't done this way. There's a lot of emphasis on that Linden Blossom. It smells so gorgeous. It does have a very classy, classic, womanly feel to it. This is all woman, and that's exactly what I love about it. Any age group could wear this fragrance, but I think women in their 30s, maybe late 20s and up would definitely appreciate this kind of fragrance. It is just so beautiful. Coming up next is this fragrance right here. It's called Cabin Tea Rose. And this fragrance is for those of you guys who could definitely appreciate a very clean, fresh, out of the shower scent. It's very floral it's very musky even though the name of this fragrance is rose i do get more of a very dominant peony type of scent peony and musk it just has this very clean soapy type of smell it smells exactly like when you walk out of the shower like that's just the vibe i get I can't clock how many hours this one lasts but i do know that it does linger nicely on the skin for hours so that's what this one is all about in case you've ever seen it and you've ever wondered what it smells like this is a clean soapy scent okay so coming up next is this fragrance right here it's from the house of tommy hilfiger and this one is called alan life guys this fragrance is like the bomb like it is so good it is so good this one is all about peach blossom anise and vanilla I don't know if I'm smelling any of that, to be honest, because if I was supposed to guess the notes to this, I would guess like a bunch of like tropical fruits, a bunch of clean flowers. It just smells so freaking good. Oh, it does have a sweet peachy type of scent mixed in with a little bit of woodsiness with some clean florals here. Oh, it just smells, it smells really, really good. Okay guys, so we have three more beautiful fragrances coming up. If you are enjoying this video, if you are still here and you have not yet liked this video, do me a favor, like the video. It does help the video out. And if you are new to this channel and you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you love fragrance related videos. Let's hop right back into this video. Okay guys, so coming up next is this fragrance right here called Love Struck Floral Rush and this is from the house of Vera Wang. This is a beautiful sparkling champagne floral woodsy type of scent. I didn't know how pretty it was until the day after when I revisited the sweater that I wore the day before while wearing this fragrance. I mean the dry down on this thing is impeccable. It's clean, it's woodsy, it's sparkling, it's airy, it smells super expensive. It smells so good and for the price of this fragrance, it doesn't even make any type of sense but I'm definitely not gonna complain. This is a beautiful fragrance, definitely worth checking out. Ah, it just smells so good, clean sparkling floral woodsy in the dry down beautiful so coming up next is this fragrance right here it's called bluegrass and this is from the house of elizabeth 
Arden. If you're like me, you've seen this bottle a million times at the Arden counter, whether it be in Nordstrom or a Macy's or any department store. This fragrance is usually just there waiting for you to sniff it. And I'm always drawn to the bottle because I'm always curious about the name Blue Grass. So I'm always sniffing the nozzle and I've never been impressed until I decided I was going to buy it wear it this is like life changing for me like i absolutely love this fragrance i'm gonna buy me another bottle because i need to know that i'm never gonna run out it smells so good like i love a good soapy fragrance and i've been searching for a good soapy fragrance and little did i know i would find it in this fragrance right here it's just beautiful it's clean it's fresh it's really soapy it's a tad powdery and yes, it does have a hair product type of smell. It is so long lasting. Like I feel as though sometimes when you put this on, it's like the fragrance is kind of multiplying. Like it's getting stronger as you wear it. It gets soapier the longer you wear it. It gets better the longer you wear it. What I will say is that even though I love this fragrance and I appreciate this fragrance and I love the soapiness of this fragrance and I love the classy feel of it and the classic feel and the vintage feel of this, just tread lightly with this one. Maybe you shouldn't blind buy this one. Perhaps you need to get to the art encounter and try this one. Spray it on you, walk around and then you'll see like magic literally happening this is beautiful and I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I found this one mm, I absolutely love this one so coming up next is this fragrance it's called pure and it's by Alfred Sung if you follow my channel you know that I recently obtained this fragrance and I've been crushing so hard on this fragrance it is so beautiful this fragrance is all about lilies it smells very fresh clean soapy with a bit of greenness and there's like a pinch of cinnamon just to make it even more special it doesn't smell weird or anything like that it does remind me of 212 by carolina herrera it does have like that type of smell it's a classic smelling fragrance so it doesn't smell like anything that we have on the market today i definitely urge anyone and everyone to try this fragrance if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy so that is it for me i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comments so if you're not following me on instagram definitely ensure that you are following me on instagram every weekend i do give away a fragrance to a lucky follower just because all right okay guys so that's it bye